Hello again, YouTuber Solomon with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with another SpongeBob mobile game slash app playthrough video review. I'm not even sure why I'm going to call this video now because I was not expecting to make this video. We have an all new SpongeBob game to play today, and this was actually a topic suggested by one of you guys. Geth Benzi, thanks so much for the information. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but still shout out to you. So what do we have here? SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam. If you haven't heard about this app before, you're not alone because I didn't either. And apparently this app was released back in January of this year, 2023. So I'm recording this March 23rd. Uh, if you guys ever want me to cover something that I've not covered, uh, please just suggest it because sometimes I just don't know about it. In this case, they never did any marketing because it's still a soft launch phase. So I had no idea about it and I'll bring you guys through this today. So let's take a look at the App Store here. Now this is the Australian App Store. So if you wanna play this game, you can always create a free uh, Australian App Store account uh, for uh, iOS, or if you are uh, using Android, of course, I think it's also available on the Australian Google Play Store. So yeah, I'm really excited to play this because just so happens that I have a Australian uh, App Store account that I created way back in the day. So before we get to that, let's take a look at this app description page. First up, city building an adventure game. So this might really be the successor to SpongeBob Moves In. It's uh, It was such a popular game. It was ridiculous that they shut it down, but still now we have a real replacement as opposed to SpongeBob's Idle Adventures. So this comes in uh, in the adventure category by Tilting Point LLC. You might remember them from, well, SpongeBob Krusty Cook-Off, right? So it's free with in-app purchases. We're going to take a look at the screenshots here. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. We can actually take a look at the iPad ones. I think these are clearer or not. Okay, so it says rebuild bikini bottom, explore with SpongeBob and friends. You have the sponge hinge there. Grow and harvest, okay. And then adventure with pets. So we have the near mint comic books. Uh, oh, one more. So all new storyline. That's really interesting. So very, very reminiscent of SpongeBob moves in so far, but the art style is completely different. All right. So now looking over here at the description, get ready to go on an amazing adventure with SpongeBob and his friends. Plankton's latest scheme to steal the Krabby Patty formula has backfired in a big way leaving the world covered in jellyfish jam. Now it's up to you and SpongeBob, along with friends new and old, to rebuild and restore order to Bikini Bottom and beyond. That's really interesting because it says, build your own Bikini Bottom. That's basically what SpongeBob moves in gave you the opportunity to do, but also travel to fan favorite locations from the SpongeBob universe like Jellyfish Fields, New Kelp City, Atlantis, and more explore, restore, and rebuild SpongeBob's world to its former glory with help from friends new and old that you meet along the way. Unlock and interact with exciting animals and old pals on your adventures. You can even have pets like Gary, Pete, the Pat Rock, Sea Lion, and more join the fun and travel with you. Craft items from Krabby Patties to jelly jars. Oh man, jelly jars. You're totally referencing SpongeBob moves in here, huh? And farm and harvest crops to help you on your quest to rebuild Bikini Bottom. Meet and interact with your favorite characters from the SpongeBob universe, from old friends like Patrick, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, to new ones like King Jellyfish, Kevin, and many more. Trade the amazing items that you find on your adventures for more awesome rewards. Now, this is a completely new thing that I always found strange did not exist in SpongeBob Moves In, but okay. Experience an all new and hilarious storyline as you travel along on your adventure. So. Uh, we've been going on a, a little bit long for now, but I just wanted to give you guys the background to this app so you can see it was first launched January and then got updated in February and finally March. So we are here in March right now and ratings seem to be pretty good. So now I've spoken enough about this preview page. Let's dive right into the app, shall we? Okay, starting off Tilting Point Will app. Ooh, what is this loading screen? So now just my first impressions on this uh, art style in this game. I really do prefer that of SpongeBob Moves In, but we're going to have to give this a chance because SpongeBob Moves In isn't getting any more updates and it's pretty much gone. But this here, this is the future, guys. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But first, we're going to download some data here it says check out the vending and sugar squeeze machines oh <laughs> sugar squeeze huh referencing cam coral there you can get extra energy for adventures in them 
Okay, and I, it's gonna initialize. Ooh, okay, so it seems like you can save your progress using Facebook login. Let's just start playing. Okay, another thing, no voice acting here. SpongeBob, oh no, what happened? Where am I? Where is everybody and everything? Don't panic, SpongeBob, you're gonna have to figure this out. First, I better clear all this jam and see if everyone is okay. Okay, there sure, there sure is a lot of junk laying around. Tap the energy to remove the debris. He does it with his karate gloves, whoa. SpongeBob, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Don't worry, Patrick, I never give up on you. Thanks, pal, what happened? I don't know, but maybe we can get to the bottom of this together. Can we start by getting jam out of my ears? So we're gonna tap the debris, tap the energy to remove the debris. It's kind of like removing the kelp in SpongeBob moves in. If you notice there, they use the um, pencil, the magic pencil to remove it. Tap the order board. That looks like the Bargain Mart's faca facade, right? Tap the repair button. Okay, can we zoom in? SpongeBob, all this cleaning is making my tummy rumbly. Leave it to me, pal. I'll make you something delicious, Krabby Patties. <laughs> Goody, don't forget my doctor said I need more fiber. I have just a thing, Patrick. Let us begin. Ha ha ha, okay. All right, so no Krabby Patties for him. So now tap the order board to see new orders. You're gonna find some lettuce, which is right here. We're gonna drag the shovel across the lettuce to harvest it. Okay, and we're gonna tap the field to plant more. So we're gonna have to drag and drop it. Just the same way we use the shovel. Tap the order board and deliver the order to earn coins and XP. All right, so that's the first uh, quest done. Level up to level two. Okay, they reused the 2009 Spongebob, um, like, art here, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so we are expanding here? Spongebob, we've been at this for seconds. Is it time for a Krabby Patty yet? Fear not, Patrick. All of your dreams are about to come true. So are we gonna build the Krusty Krab? Oh yes, we are. Okay, so we're gonna have to remove the debris first. You're gonna do that with his karate gloves. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the Krusty Krab is covered in jelly. SpongeBob, you're a sight for sore eye stalks. I could really use your help to rebuild the Krusty Krab. Rebuild the Krusty Krab? That was what I was born to do. This is, that's a strange lot in life, but I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah, that's a good one. Stand back, Mr. Krabs. I have things under control. Usually you shouldn't trust SpongeBob when he says that, but okay. So collect sea flowers. Uh, oh, so we just had to tap that? But that was convenient. So it's not like this, it's not the same as, you know, the lettuce. You don't have to harvest it in that way, but okay. And just note that the energy used up, well, I'm not sure how quickly they regenerate, but uh, how many of that? We have 14, okay. Yeah, so now we can go over here. The Krusty Krab, we're going to repair it. We did it! The Krusty Krab has been restored to its glory. And not a moment too soon, if I didn't reopen, I'd lose my mind. And a lot of money. <laughs> the thought of all those nickels slipping through my grasp. Horrors. The nickels will be yours, Mr. Krabs. All the nickels will be yours. Well, that's something Mr. Krabs would be more than happy to hear. Okay, so why is Fred in the Krusty Krab there? Okay, we're gonna just drag it over. And basically, the premium currency gems here, uh, you can use to speed up stuff, you know, it's typical in-app purchase kind of thing. I can almost hear them nickels walking through the door now. There's no problem that can be fixed with a Krabby Patty, Mr. Krabs. I like the cut of your jib, boy. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Is he trying to get a promotion here by sweet-talking him? Okay, so we've completed that quest, and... Ah, oh, SpongeBob, me lad, you're doing human's work. Thank you, Mr. Krabs, I think. Uh, keep it up and a clear path for people to beat to our door. Okay, so next up we've got the clear the path. And we're gonna have to clear this debris. A lot of it. Okay. So we're here, complete. We got corn. Lettuce order. Tap it at quest. Okay, so we're gonna harvest the lettuce, plant the lettuce, and send order from order board. Okay, so let's tap this. 
use the shovel, oopsie. Need to get used to these controls, but once you do, it's not too bad at all. So there we go. Okay, then let's send it. Now one thing I don't really understand is why is he going elsewhere? Patrick, wasn't the thing supposed to be delivered to Patrick? I don't know. Level 3, we've got some kind of glove, uh, Max 1, this barns, uh, are those barns? The smell of jelly. Uh, tap on a quest, okay, remove debris, remove debris, so where is that exactly? So we're gonna remove this one. He's gonna walk over, karate it, of course. Alright. Hey, Spongebob, wanna sing the jellyfish song? Oh man, I actually kinda like that one from, um... Spongebob's Last Stand, right? What's the jellyfish song? It's a song about jellyfish. I just made it up. Oh wait, it's not even referencing the real jellyfish song. Oh fun, can you teach it to me? Well, I just have the beginning. It goes like this. <laughs> what is that expression from Patrick there? Oh jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. Okay, you write, now you write the next part. I might have to get back to you on this one. Okay, so let's remove this debris. That's seven energy. I think it's called energy, so we'll just call it energy because it looks like a battery or energy. And now tap to open the market. Aha! Uh -huh. So now this is uh, the place where you get all of the buildings, decorations, everything. So we've got the jellyfish hive that doesn't look like a jellyfish hive at all, but okay, it looks more like a barn. We can also buy a jellyfish. Okay. Tap the jellyfish hive, put jellyfish feed on the ground. Uh-huh, there we go. And then tap the jellyfish, speed it up, and collect the jellyfish jelly. Neat, we did it! Oh, what a cutie little jellyfish. Why don't we grow some food for it? That's so crazy, it, might, it just might work. Okay, so find the old Jenkins's farm. Gonna remove the debris there. So it's one of them. I think it does skip ahead if you tapped it, so that's what I just did. Ah, Omen Jenkins' farm is the place for me. Farm living is a life for me, except it's kind of gross right now. What do you say we clean it up then? You know I'll follow you anywhere, SpongeBob. Okay, so let's do. I'm gonna kind of call it Patrick there. <laughs> okay, so remove debris. Uh-huh, and we got a kelp bar too. Okay, we are out of debris here. But we can repair the farm right now, so it's fine. The place is looking pretty spiffy now, SpongeBob. Good work, Patrick. Let's try planting some crops. How do you feel about corn? I love all the corn. Yellow, white, popped, candy. Well, hitch up your drawers, Patrick. It's planting time. Okay, so completed that. And level it up to level four. Awesome. Okay, the Bikini Bottomite's house. So Bikini Bottom needs more Bikini Bottomites. Again, we have to remove the debris. So let's do that. We also have Davy Jones's locker right there. You can see it. Sandy. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Sandy, I hope you weren't stuck here for too long. Just long enough for you to come up with a neat idea. Is it about getting jam out of me, out of my ears? How about we get some help rebuilding Bikini Bottom? Sure, Sandy, what do we need to do? Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. Um, remove the debris, let's just remove that first. Again, trying to tap, no, it doesn't speed up, so. Or did it, I'm not sure. Okay, and then we have to, we need some stone. Where are we gonna get the stone? Tap on the quest. Uh, remove wilted coral, okay. So let's wait for that to happen. Oh, so Davy Jones's locker actually opens up. That's good to know. I'm gonna repair that. SpongeBob, I'm really impressed. Well, Sandy, now that it's built, what do we do with it? I'm glad you asked. Tap the house. And producing items requires bikini bottomites. Okay. The more houses you have, the more bikini bottomites can help. Okay, so complete that. Lots of jam. 
Remove debris, explore area. All right, so let's remove these. Pat, what was Patrick whacking that thing with? I couldn't really tell. It's a bit too small from here. Uh, Patrick, I really think we need to get the bottom of this. The bikini bottom of it? Ah, good one, Patrick. But seriously, we need to figure out how this happened. What should we do? I think we need to head to Jellyfish Fields and see if there are any clues. Jam clues? Let's go! Okay, so we- Oh! Alright, so, uh, finally we get to go to somewhere else. Uh, on the map here it says Jellyfish Fields, New Kelp City, Atlantis, Glove World, and Chum Bucket. And this is just the first chapter, by the way, SpongeBob's Last Jam, so... Uh, we have again the 2009 artwork. Looks like jellyfish had... Looks like the jellyfish have had a day. We have to clean this up before we can lure them back. Okay, so let's go to the quest here. The Call of Jellyfish Fields. Complete. Explore Jellyfish Fields. Alright, so... I'm probably going to make this a 20 minute video just because it, we're still going through the tutorial essentially. I want to try to get at least to where we uh, encounter Plankton because obviously the cause of this is Plankton. So now the next question is, what are we going to do if we don't have the energy? So I think this is an appropriate time to just check these out. So Adventure Challenge, uh, you can actually do certain tasks here like gathering these items and then you get a grand prize. Also over here, storage. Okay, so this, uh, I guess, uh, are the building materials. We've got the consumables. We've got, okay, but can't really go through the second one. Or can we? So what are these? Kelpo, Kalpanuga Crunch, and so on. And then Sandy's Fertilizer, Ice Cube, Animal Treats. So it doesn't tell you what these are for so far. I'm not sure, but we'll eventually find out. In terms of profile, well, uh, you can change your name here, that's great. And it seems like you can be Squidward, Patrick, Mystic Krabs, or Sandy. Which is really cool, because again, in Spongebob Moves In, you only play it as uh, yourself. So not even Spongebob. But I think that app was, that app's concept was really great as well. Okay, so we have one energy, and let's take a look at the... Uh, purchases here. So again, you can buy the energy with the actual real money currency here, which are the gems. So uh, in terms of the coins, you can also buy those using the gems. And uh, yeah, all right. And then we can take a look at the gems. So the gems obviously cost real money. And uh, yeah, <laughs> probably not a great idea to, to buy them. But you know, you just gotta wait. So actually, I think we're... Oh, what is this? So settings. In terms of languages, you have English or Russian. Very strange. You can also connect to the Apple account in, on top of signing in with Facebook. So not sure why they didn't make that an option in the first uh, you know, main menu. But well, you can do that as well in the game settings itself. Over here, mail. No more mail. Okay, so... I presume we're gonna get stuff uh, as time goes on, but yeah, let's go back to Bikini Bottom and try to do some quests before we end up the video. Or, uh, show you guys this uh, store here. So, again, like Spongebob moves in, we have the store, you can buy all of these uh, various decorations slash functional buildings. A collection hall that looks like Spongebob's pineapple, why is that? Pin Factory, Krusty Krab, Weenie Hut Juniors. Man, that's quite a selection, huh? Sea nut shop. Have we ever seen the sea nut shop in the show? The arcade shop we definitely have. Okay, so in terms of this, uh, I assume these things are supposed to be generating something. So you can produce something out of them. We've got a jellyfish or the animals, right? So we've got the jellyfish, the giant jellyfish, which I'm pretty sure it had a specific name from the pink purloiner, right? Uh, in season four, but I can't remember the name of it. Oyster Premium Oyster Seahorse and King Seahorse. So King Seahorse looks like a unicorn from Cosmic Shake. In terms of houses, we got the small, the standard size, and the large size, and we also have the pathways, right? So asphalt, granite, dark sand and stone, light sand and stone. A lot of these items here too. Phone booth, Shelly found bridge with anchors, coral hammock, shark slide. 
Uh, I actually like these. Um, Squidward Fountain, that's really nice. Shell Seesaw, Bamboo Swing, Deck Chair with Parasol, Wooden Bridge Fountain. Man, that's quite a lot of these. Mrs. Puff's House, Shady Show, so they're just decorations now. Fences and Garden Fences, and then this last one, I'm not sure what this does, but okay, I'm actually gonna just. Can we do that? Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I wanna put it over where we had the. Yeah, right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's use this to harvest these. And the quest requires us to uh, plant corn. So we're gonna do that. I'm not sure how it takes, how long it takes. Okay, three minutes. And yeah, I guess we're in a good place to end up the video now. I'm not sure what else I can actually... Oh, reduce jellyfish feed. Okay, let's do that. Uh... And, uh, yeah. Complete. Okay, so, yeah, now we're at a roadblock, we have to go to Jellyfish Fields, but I do want to go over to this here. Chapter 2, The Fellowship of the Sponge. So, it looks like we're going to medieval times, or, uh, more past-related areas. We've got the medieval moments, the King Crabs' Castle, Doom Tower, Cephalopod Lodge, and Viking Village. All really, really cool to see. So, it's similar, but very different at the same time from Spongebob Moves In. And so far, my impressions, I'd say this is a 8 out of 10 game. Um, I'm a little bit biased to Spongebob Moves In because of uh, just the art style and the way it was played. It was very simple, you know, it just was a standard city building game. But this here is not just that, because the fact that you can go to other places and rebuild or you know clear up and uh, beautify out of places as well is something that we never got to do in spongebob moves in and this takes it in a whole new direction so let me know in the comments box below uh, have you played spongebob adventures in a jam and if you do and if you have well do you like it or what improvements do you think could be made to the game so far i'm i'm pretty satisfied with this so uh, we shall see where this goes. Hopefully they announce the game formally soon and release it worldwide, but maybe give it a couple more months. All right, so that's all for this video. And if you want to see more coverage of this game, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Keep it right here on Anonymous Spongebob 101. I'll see you guys in the next Spongebob video. Bye!